Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Pashala. Now we will solve problems of calculus of variations from West Bengal say 2023. Uh, there was given two problems from this topic. So let's solve both of them. So here the first of one is uh, question number 57 from the booklet series X. And here the problem is the variational problems of extremizing the given functional with these initial conditions. And these four options are given. It has unique solution, exactly two solutions, or infinitely many solutions, or no solution. To solve this type of problems, we have to know one thing. What is it? It is Euler-Lagrange equation. So here, the given functional is this, which will become integration over 1, 2, 3, 3xy minus y squared dx. So, let's see Euler-Lagrange equation. A necessary condition for i is equals to integration over x1 to x2 f of x, yx, y dash x, dx. To be an extremum is that t dx of del f del y dash minus del f del y will be 0. So, which is called the Euler's equation or Euler-Lagrange equation. And this one thing we have to know to solve this problem. Now, here the functional is given 3xy minus y square. So, now we calculate these values. Here, del f del y dash will be 0 and del f del y will be 3x minus 2y. We calculate by doing partial derivative with respect to y. Then, euler Lagrange equation is what? ddx of del f del y dash minus del f del y is equals to 0. So, it will become del f del y is equals to 0 as this part here 0. So, we get del f del y is equals to 3x minus 2y. So, here 2y is equals to 3x and we get y is equals to 3x by 2 which is the only extremal of the given functional. Now, let us put the given initial conditions y1 is equals to 1 that is y is equals to 1 where x is 1. Let's see when we put these values in this extremal of the given functional we get 3 by 2 is equals to 1. Here we put x is equals to 1 and here we put y is equals to 1 then we get 3 by 2 is equals to 1 which is absurd. Hence uh, the given functional has no extremal with these initial conditions given. So, therefore, it has no solution. So, here we get the given functional has no solution. So, option D is our correct answer. Now, let us go through our next problem of calculus of variation which is question number 56 from the post booklet series X. Here, in this problem, we have to find the extremal of this given functional and then also find out from these four options that it is equation of circles or parabolas or ellipses or straight lines. So here we can see that the given functional depends on only y and y dash that is f of y y dash is equals to root over 1 plus y dash square by y. So when the integrand depends only on y and y dash and therefore the Euler-Lagrange equation then becomes this form that is f minus y dash del f del y dash is equals to constant. Now using this we have to do this problem. So here by differentiating we get del f del y dash is equals to y dash by y into root over 1 plus y dash square from our given functional. So here f minus y dash del f del y dash is equals to c where c is an arbitrary constant. We can put here f the functional given root over 1 plus y dash square by y minus y dash into this del f del y dash we can put here and by calculating here we get 1 by y into root over 1 plus y dash square is equals to c. Now here we can square the both side and by squaring we get c square y square into 1 plus y dash square is equals to 1. Now Easily we can rearrange these terms and what we get from here, here rearranging this 
we get y dash square is equals to 1 minus c square y square by c square y square. So, here we get from this y dash is equals to 2 to power 1 minus c square y square by c y. Now, what we can do from this? We can write as c y dy by root over 1 minus c square y square is equals to dx. Here, let us take 1 minus c square y square is equals to z square. So, by differentiating both sides, we get y dy is equals to minus z by c square into dz. Now, here c and c square will be crossed off and what we get? Here we get from this minus 1 by c integration over dz is equals to integration over dx. Here, we take integration in both sides and with this, so here, by integrating, we get minus z by c is equals to x plus c1, where c1 is an arbitrary constant. Now, we can do this here. We square the both sides and we get z square is equals to c square into x plus c1, the whole square. So, here, now we can put 1 minus c square y square here in the place of z square because here we take 1 minus c square is equals to z square now. Here we put this 1 minus c square y square is equal to c square into x plus c1 whole square. Now, dividing both sides by c square we get here x plus c1 whole square and here we get 1 by c square minus y square. So, here 1 by c square is also a constant and we can take it as k square which is also arbitrary constant. So, here we get x plus c1 whole square is equals to k square minus y square and we can write this as in this form like x plus c1 whole square plus y square is equals to k square and you can see that it is easily an equation of circle. So, the extremals of the functional are what? Here the extremals of the functional are nothing but circles. So, here we get here are options given circles, parabolas, ellipses or straight lines. So, here we get the extremal of the functional are nothing but circles. Option A is our correct answer. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and support us.